Now we move back To my baby Alongside our mix I dey give you bread, we go bust a bread to dance. Let we dance. I dey give you bread, we go bust a bread to dance. Let we dance. Oh, put on wear the yai mukeke, yai mukeke. Oh, put on wear the yai mukeke, yai mukeke. Yagi mukeke, yagi mukeke, yagi mukeke, yagi mukeke, yagi mukeke, yagi mukeke. So this is my first attempt at spatial video. What most would just call 3D video because I've seen it. I know what it looks like now because it's available in the MetaQuest 3 and the MetaQuest 2. You can do 3D videos now using your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max just like you can on Vision Pro. And uh, it looks pretty cool, but to me, it's kind of overhyped, I think. It looks just like just basic 3D video that uh, you can only watch in a headset. So the world will never see this amazing video. Except I'm gonna put it in this video too. It, you just won't be able to see it in 3D. So that last section was shot in 3D using the iPhone 15 Pro. And I woke up this morning, had a new update in my headset and I go, you know what? I can now do spatial video. Let's see what all the hubbub or the hullabaloo is. The hullabaloo, that's the word. And uh, so I'm out here just playing with 3D and seeing what it looks like in the headset. I don't know what use it's going to be really. Maybe Apple and other companies have an idea of what's going to happen in the future with the 3D video stuff because 3D TVs aren't even a thing anymore really. Even though I love 3D. I love 3D. Click a thumbs up if you like 3D. Bypass the thumbs down. Well, with all the trees starting to grow coconuts and the banana trees starting to produce fruit, it seems that winter is almost over. I know it looks gloomy outside and cloudy, but it's just a low cloud and it's actually pretty warm out. At least here at camp. Don't know what it's like away from the campground, but here at the camp, it's warm. Okay, well, Oculus is off. I'm over here charging in celebration, getting a full charge on my car. And uh, it's kind of lively today. It looks like there's some people over there fishing on the banks, people over eating ice cream at the ice cream parlor. I noticed that Howard the Duck is not tied. If you look out here in the water now, where the duck is gone and they where the hole is that he was tied to is a pipe now there's that's not a shadow of a tree that's a pipe in the water where the duck is gone i do not know i don't see wally gator out here i don't see the alligator anywhere swimming around today he might be way on the other side of the lake but there is something going on over here by the car charging station in the swimming pool looks like they're setting up for some sort of event tonight So it looks like they're uh, zigzagging a bunch of lights and gonna hang up some sort of canopy of lights here. Something's going on, but you know what? It wouldn't be bad to just sit here and watch these guys set up these lights due to the fact you may learn something come Christmas time, how to string a bunch of lights together without having extension cords ran everywhere. I know I can't be the only one that has that problem. Is this a perfect day? 
And yes, I still have to work today. I have to head to Miami. Or no, no, I'm going to Tampa tomorrow or tonight. I have to go to Tampa and then Orlando, then possibly Miami. I don't know. But it is a work day or it's becoming a work day. So I figured, why not come over here to Celebration, charge up a little bit, go back home, goof off, maybe do one or two ride shares, make a little extra spending cash. And uh, because I don't really get many days off or anything. It's just like you get an afternoon off and then you gotta go right back to work. So instead of having full days off, my life at the moment is having afternoons off. And which is okay. You get a, get some mango juice, walk around the park, charge your car, and kind of enjoy a couple of hours before getting back behind the wheel. I bet I bet this is gonna look stunning at night. So the main thing I'm doing is I am shooting everything in 3D using the iPhone. My uh, my, my Sony's at home. I'm just kind of walking around just shooting everything in, uh, like if I was shooting for the Apple Vision Pro. Main reason, I want to see what it looks like on the headset. Not on the Vision Pro, but on the Meta. So, a lot of people have the Meta Quest headset. That's what today's video is about, is the Meta Quest and the Vision Pro. Now, I've never actually went to the Apple store to try on the Vision Pro. It's something I would like to do, but I know the Meta Quest is far superior for everything I want to do. But now that it does this, you know, I went, I did the update and I seen the videos that are on the Vision Pro because they, they downloaded onto my headset too on the Meta Quest 3 and my Meta Quest 2. So I seen the one with the dog you know, coming in and out, seen the fish one. And I don't honestly know what the hype is all about. Why they're saying this is a game changer, you know, uh, why Apple is saying it's a game changer for this, this type of video. I, it's, I didn't, I didn't find it that interesting. I, I don't know. I, I, I think it would be cool, you know, to make a 3d movie, but Who's going to be able to watch it? You have to have a headset. You know, I, I, I don't get it. I don't, don't understand why it's the future if no one's going to be able to see it. And honestly, it really doesn't look that fantastic. And those were the professional videos that downloaded when the software update happened. You know, coming out of my, my telephone, who who knows what it's going to look like. It's probably not going to be that great, you know, because those are professional people doing it. So if the professional videos really don't look that good and really don't blow your mind, how can my videos do that? I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. I'm going to have to play with it just a little bit more. For those of you that have already did the 62 version update, let me know, have you tried shooting spatial video yet? I, 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 I'm, you know, shooting it's pretty easy. The quality seems fine, but is it really that mind blowing? Is it worth spending $3,500 on a headset? Or say you just love it so much and you want to spend $500 on a MetaQuest. Is it the killer, killer feature on a MetaQuest? I don't think so. I honestly don't. I, I get the headsets for virtual reality gaming, mixed reality gaming, a little bit of, you know, you know, checking social media, maybe watching movies and stuff like that in big screen. But I don't understand the spatial video thing. I, I don't get it. What's that noise? It sounds like an airboat. There's no airboat out on the lake. It's probably a leaf blowers or something way across. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to go unplug my car, maybe do one or two ride shares and head home and learn a little bit more about this stop motion I'm trying to figure out. Though my car would look fantastic in 3D. So we got a little Tesla over there. I think my car's a little bit nicer looking though. 
Anyway, until the next time, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is just a quick little update and my thoughts on the differences between the Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3, basically based on spatial video. I, I don't know if it's worth it. I, I, everyone, all the videos I've seen about the Vision Pro, this is what the people wanted. This is what they wanted. I just don't get it. Is it just me? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Is spatial video important to you? I, I don't know. I like my 3D, but when you're all by yourself and no one else can watch it with you, what good is it?